we have a culture today that is so busy. Christians can't help but strive. They can't help but constantly work. We think that we have to do everything to get where we need to be. And we don't understand the aspect of rest. It sounds great, but we really don't understand what it means to just rest and give it all to the Lord. But it is as easy as just doing it. It is the yielding of ourselves. He's promised us rest. He invites us into rest. The invitation is come and I will give you rest. He doesn't, he didn't say come and do all these things before you get to me. He says, just rest. Like I can literally right now just stand here and just say, Lord, I worship you. <laughs> and I can feel the vibrations of heaven all in my body. <laughs> and I can feel his love. And there's nothing I had to do to get there. Sam, will you come here, man? How hard was that? Easy. What'd you, what'd you do? You just got up and came. Did you, have to, did you have to go to your house and shower and get dressed and make yourself clean before you came up here? Did you have to go by and get a coffee? Did you have to do anything else but just simply yield yourself to the will that I just asked you to come? Cool. It's that easy. So many times we think that we have to go and prepare ourselves to get into the presence of the Lord when all he says is just come. See, what we don't understand is when, when, when Jesus died on the cross, he was the prepared sacrifice. That was all prepared for us. The work was done. It is finished. It is easy. His burden is light and his yoke is easy. His burden is easy because he's defeated it all. There's nothing above him. So when we are seated with him in heaven, what are we doing? We are joining in on the burden of completion. We are sitting on the right hand side of God in perfection. The burden is light. Stop working to be perfect. His yoke is easy. If you attach yourself to an ox with a yoke, do you expect to be any pulling any weight compared to what the ox is pulling? No, that's absurd. That's the same with Christ. We, we yoke up with him. There's absolutely no work that we can do and claim that it was in our strength. And he intended it to be that way. We have to get out of this striving culture of constantly, what can I build? What can I do to get closer to the Lord? I had a vision a while ago, but it lines up with, it lines up with this Isaiah 2, verse 2-3. Two, A sparkling stream of every nation will flow into it. Many people will come and say, everyone come, let's go up higher to Yahweh's mountain, to the house of Jacob's God. Then he can teach us his ways and we can walk in his paths. Zion will be the center of instruction and the word of Yahweh will go out from Jesus. Doesn't that sound relaxing? When you think of a stream, what do you, what do you think of? Rest and relaxation. I go, I'm gonna go, I'm going out on the boat. We're gonna hang out on the river. We're just gonna float around. Hey, I'm gonna go to the lazy river. I'm gonna sit on the inner tube and just float around. There's no work involved floating. 